Hey guys, the Keybit here, and today the purpose of this video is to pretty much just show you guys what I look like so you guys can find me at Worlds. So, this is what I look like right here, and at Worlds, you'll find me with a bunch of these wristbands as you see right here. You'll see me wearing this gray Rubik's Cube shirt and these jeans, which are pretty much my favorite jeans. I guess my lucky jeans, quote unquote lucky. And then I'll have a name tag somewhere over here saying, it's like, hi, my name is the Cube Dude. So, please come up to me and just say hi and let me know that you subscribe to me. And I'd love to talk to you guys because I really, really want to talk to my subscribers. That's one main reason why I'm going, just to talk to a bunch of my subscribers. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys are going and if you guys will be looking for me. I'm really looking forward to it and I'm not really sure what I'll be wearing the second or third day. But again, just come up to me and say hi. I'd love to talk to you guys. So enjoy this unboxing. Hey guys, the Cube Dude here. And today I have another unboxing from E3 Cube Store. So in this package I got the Land Land Gear Octahedron, the Land Land 3x3x2. And then the Mufang F E I X U A N. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. And I got the Mosey 2x2x1 as a free puzzle since I'm an E3 Cube Store member. I was also sent this wristband, so thanks Evan for that. I didn't even know I was going to get that. And of course, the E3 Cube Store business card. So now let's get into the puzzles. So, first, let's take a look at the Landland Land Gear Octahedron. So, here is the puzzle. And it's based off of the Gear Cube, or otherwise known as the Caution Cube. And so how it turns is like this. And you can see how the cross would be right here. And these are corners. But it, I think it has a different type of parity on this. So it's pretty cool. It's a little bit tight. And it'll be interesting to solve. I'll have to use all the algorithms I used on my gear cube and maybe even try and figure out some other ones. So it'll be fun to solve and kind of glad I got it. I got like a dollar off since I'm an Ether Cubes for membership, so you guys should all get your own Ether Cubes for membership. Link to that will be in the description. It's well worth it. You get discounts every week and you get free stuff. Like I got a free wristband and this 2x2x1. Okay, so now let's get into the Landland 3x3x2. So, first turns on this puzzle. It's pretty smooth. It's a lot smoother than the Mosey. 3x3x2 is right out of the box. The color scheme is a little different. It's yellow and white on top. It's actually the correct color scheme with white and yellow being like the main colors. Unlike the Mosey, which has blue and green on the top and bottom and all the other colors on the side. Uh, it does not have textured stickers like 3x3x2 the Mosey does. And so let me just scramble it and do a little solve. Alright, so this puzzle performs really well in a solve. It doesn't lock up at all. It's very smooth on every single turn. And the algorithms flow very nicely. That one was to switch two edges adjacently. So uh, now let's get into the Mufang Fake Soon. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let me know in the comments below how to correctly pronounce this puzzle name. Okay, so this is kind of a new puzzle, I think. And right out of the box, it kind of reminds me of a Type-C 4 and a Ghost Hand. I'm not really sure why. Um, here's a Type-C 5 I have. And just the way the puzzle, or the pieces are kind of rounded, it kind of reminds me of that. And so it's got the correct color scheme. And here is the logo. Never seen that one before. Now let's do first turns. First turns, it's tight, slow, it locks up. And it really needs to be tensioned correctly. So I'm going to go lubricate this with some algo lube and also go tension this and see if it makes it any better. Because right now, out of the box, it is a horrible puzzle. Okay, so this puzzle, after lubricating and tensioning it, is still not the greatest. It pops all the time. And the stickers are kind of on weird, like you can see they're kind of bent in the middle. So the sticker, uh, the way they put the stickers on is just not great. Uh, the corner cutting is not that great. That's about as good as it can get. That's with force. In reverse corner cutting, not the greatest. And the pieces are nothing special. I actually have to make this kind of tight, otherwise it'd pop like crazy. Here are what the pieces look like. Just like standard pieces. And then something interesting is that the core is a dark blue. Let's see if you, you can see that. So you can see the top of it there. It's kind of hard to see since it's a black puzzle, 
but it is a dark blue core. So I would not recommend getting this puzzle. It's, it's a waste of your money. It's a waste of my money because it's just not that great of a puzzle. It is kind of smooth, but not good enough for like speed cubing or speed solving. So now let's just quickly just go over this. Only two by two by one. This was a free puzzle. And I have unlocked this in a past unboxing, I think. But just a little quick overview. There's only six different scrambles you could have. And here's I just went through three of those. And then the other three are that. So it's really easy. I got two of these for my little cousins because they they can solve it and they wanted it. And since it was just a free puzzle, it's just good to have. If you guys enjoyed that unboxing, if you have not already, leave a like and a comment below with some topic suggestions. Go check out the channel of the week. They got some pretty cool videos. And also check out the mystery video because it, it is absolutely hilarious. So hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.